Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and today we're going to talk about septic tank risers. So what are septic tank risers? How do they work and why would you need them? Well, let me explain. Right, so to start with, here is a septic tank riser. Now septic tank risers can come in different shapes, different sizes, but this is a typical shape septic tank riser. Typically, they can range from anywhere from 150 mil all the way up to 1,000 mil in height. Diameter-wise, they can range anywhere from 360 to 460 to 600 mil in diameter. And basically, they all come in sections. So you get one section, you can put another section on top of that section, and then, let me just get this, and then the lid goes on top or into the top of the riser. So they're called risers because they almost, I suppose, form like a chimney, a chimney stack. There you go. So they form like a chimney stack. And typically, most risers will go up to safely up to about a thousand mil. Okay. So I've shown you what risers are, but why would you need them? And how do they work? Well, let me show you the principle here, right? Oh, okay, so this is your house, believe it or not. I'm not the best artist in the world, but that's a house, right? And let's say this is a normal house with a normal uh, waste pipe coming from it. So the normal waste pipe would come from the house, it would go to there. And then everything can then be worked from the levels of the waste pipe that comes from your house. Now, if the waste pipe is relatively quite close to the grass, right? Then your septic tank, we just imagine that is a septic tank for a minute. Then the septic tank, the top of the septic tank can be basically flush with the grass or just below the grass. And then your lid would go on top of that. And the lid would either uh, rise up slightly from the grass or it would be flush with the grass. So. That's an ideal situation, but unfortunately, not all situations are ideal. All right, so let me give you a, a scenario now in which you'd need septic tank risers. So let's start again. So let's wipe that out. And let's say this is your grass baseline here. Okay. And let's say the waste pipe, for some reason, coming from the house, is quite deep. So let's say the waste pipe comes to, starts there, all right? So, which is the case in some instances, if, if it's coming down, you've got a basement or a cellar, and then the waste pipe starts, goes down from there. That's one instance why the waste pipe would be so, so deep, or just say the builders have just put the waste pipe really deep. There can be a number of reasons for doing so. Now, let's say that the septic tank, the top of the septic tank, which should be flush with the grass, is now, oh, let's just level that off. It's always hard to talk and hard to draw at the same time, but uh, at least you know it's live and it's not edited, eh? So let's, let's straighten that up a bit more. All right, so that's the septic tank and that's the top of the septic tank. So let's say this is a prefabricated septic tank you've bought, right? And they only come at a certain length and a certain height. Now, regardless whether it's a concrete one or a plastic one or a fiberglass one, let's say when you actually connect it to the inlet pipe of the septic tank and the outlet pipe, you've now got this gap or space between the top of the tank and the grass. So if you left things as they were, the lid of the septic tank would be here. So if you need to get it inspected or you need to get it emptied, then you've got to dig a big hole down through the grass, through the soil, to expose, right, the septic tank lid. So what they came up with is, as I just showed you, septic tank risers, right, with the lid on the top. And so what that does is, once you put a riser on, say you're installing your tank, you would then put these risers on. And the risers would then bring the septic tank lid to ground level. Isn't that clever, right? So then... Your septic tank, even though it's quite very, it's quite deep in the ground, it can still function normally. But 
if you get a problem the tanker man can just come he can locate the lid because it's flush with the grass he can lift the lid off it so let's say I'm the septic tank man I've come now I've uh, oh, it probably be really tight the septic tank lid so I'm just giving you an in-house demonstration so the septic tank man he can come he can take the lid off he can have a look down into the septic tank or he can even put his pipe in there and suck away all the fat the grease and the sludge and all the wastewater or they can do a septic tank inspection now without having to dig your garden up and so that's why septic tank risers were invented so how much do septic tank risers cost well typically as i said they can come anywhere they are about uh, 360 mil diameter and um, they can range anywhere from say 135 mil uh, in height to uh, a thousand mil millimeters in height which is a meter you can go higher than a thousand mil but it then becomes unsafe i suppose is the best word because you imagine the taller you build a chimney the less support it's got so the higher it goes the more chance it's got of toppling and it's the same with risers once you build a big stack so imagine right this stack went up and 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 up right and forget the house is there for a minute pretend your house isn't there right but you've gone down down into the ground here and your grass level now is here right what can happen is if um, there's any subsidence in the soil if there's any subsidence or anything the actual risers can actually go off kilter right they can come out of sync they can come be detached in that case a load of soil would then pour in from the subsidence and then fill your tank up with soil creating a hell of a problem because to fix it you've then got to excavate you know a big hole again to get to the tank to get all the soil out and re-put you know redo risers so if you are going to go if you have to go deeper than um, a meter uh, a suggestion to you a septic tank tip is not to use right plastic risers don't use plastic risers get the concrete ones they're like milton rings but the concrete ones right they they basically are like 600 to a thousand mil in diameter they sit on each other to that and then so you can rise them up quite high to the grass but the point is the pressure from the ground won't bear in on the tank you know they'll resist that they won't go out of sync because they slot into one another and they basically keep the integrity of the stack there so there you go so i hope that video has helped you that's what septic tank risers are that's how they work and um, that's typically the size of them and they can range in price anywhere from you can pay from 10 pound a riser to you know i suppose 150 150 pound per riser and as i said they will they come in increments you can't just get them a thousand typically generally you can't get them you know a meter two meters you know um molding you've got to get them in sections and then build up to that but listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today if you'd like to see more free videos then just go to septictank.co.uk or go on to google and type in septic tank tv i've got the world's only septic tank tv channel and if you subscribe right to my septic tank tv channel you'll be in with a chance to win an extra large bucket of septic tank sogoi worms which basically are amazing you tip them straight into your septic tank right and um, they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge in a septic tank just leaving the wastewater and if you've got a block septic tank or you've got a block soak away then they'll go into the soak away and they'll eat all the fat the grease and the sludge and save you thousands of pounds save you having to replace your soak away or your septic tank so listen once again thank you very much for watching this video today you take care and i'll speak to you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.